Welcome to my weekly market roundup 24th May 2020. I am Sagar Nandi. I used to work in IT, mostly based in Singapore. Now I have retired. I am living in Thailand and swing trading stocks using the Q systems and techniques that I developed. You may contact me using my email ID tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I have put together a number of trading resources, the YouTube channel, Twitter page and also my traders forum where I regularly share live stock and market analysis. All these are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Disclaimer, I am not an investment advisor. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is not a trade recommendation. Trading involves risk. You and only you are solely responsible for the outcome of your trades. As usual, in today's topics, I will analyze oil and gold using technical charts and then demonstrate the use of 360 degrees analysis technique where you can align the forces from the market level sector industry level, fundamental level and technical level with your trades giving you truly high probability low risk trades. In this session I am going to use Q Global and Q Finder for technical analysis. I may also use Q Elite also for technical analysis. Q Elite runs on trade station and Q Global runs on Metastock. For fundamental and peer analysis, I will use Q Vital and for sector industry rotation analysis, I will use Q Edge. Both of these programs run on Metastock Zenith. That was the last slide of my presentation. Let me continue with the live system. I am beginning my technical analysis with the oil ETF USO analyzing it with the weekly, daily at a glance template. In the last market roundup, when price was here in the weekly chart, I mentioned that it was likely that oil would go up from there. That happened this way, price went up, though the week ended with an indecisive shape candle. In the daily chart, price is close to the upper boundary level. If it pulls back a little bit, comes to the memory trend line support and goes up from there, that may give the next low risk buying opportunity in USO. Gold ETF GLD. This week's candle color, backdrop candle color, turned yellow, neutral, and the weekly candle shape is also indecisive. In the daily chart, price is moving inside a narrow range. If price can come down to the memory support line and go up from there, that may give the next low risk buying opportunity in gold. Neither oil nor gold is giving immediate trading opportunity. What about the market ETFs? Let's start with S&P 500 ETF SPY. Here the price went up a little bit this week. The backdrop color is remaining bullish cyan in the weekly chart. However, the weekly candle shape turned indecisive. In the daily, price is continuing in a narrow range. If price comes down to the memory trend line support and goes up from there, that may give a low risk buying opportunity. On the other hand, if price can break out of the narrow range, the breakout traders may look for a buying opportunity at that time or as I prefer, you may 
wait for a pullback and then for price to tilt up again giving a probably lower risk go with flow trend following long trade setup nasdaq etf qqq similar to spy weekly price went up the weekly candle ended with an indecisive shape QQQ is stronger than the other ETFs. This is the only ETF that is still in an uptrend, going up with higher lows and higher highs. Price is close to the upper boundary level. That is not a place where I would like to take a new swing long trade in QQQ. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, DIA. The relative performance line is showing that it is underperforming the market. The weekly price went up, however, the candle shape is indecisive. The weekly chart is close to the watermark level. Earlier it worked as support, now it may work as resistance. If price comes down from here, that may create what people call a dead cat bounce. In the daily chart, price is not moving much. This week on Monday, price gapped up and after that, for the whole week, it practically didn't move. If price comes down now, you may not have a low risk shorting opportunity because there is a memory trend line support. If you are looking for any short trade in DIA, that is if DIA starts to go down next week and you are thinking of taking a short trade relying on the dead cat bounce formation in the weekly chart, you may have to wait for price to go below the daily trend line support before attempting any short trade. Russell 2000 ETF IWM This week IWM outperformed the other ETFs the relative performance tilted up. This is also the only ETF where the weekly shape and color both are bullish. However, in the daily, it is still moving inside a range. The optimal buying opportunity may come if price comes down to the trend line support and goes up from there. Alternatively, breakout traders may attempt to take breakout trades if price can go above the watermark resistance level. That is not my preferred technique. I would rather wait for the price to pull back and go up again giving me a proper go with flow trend following long trade setup right now there is no trading opportunity in iwm and as you saw there is no low risk trading opportunity in any of the market etfs after the market let's have a look at the sectors this is one month sector performance however this is a snapshot from one week ago at that time month one sector performance was bullish eight sectors were up three were down however the weekly performance was bearish in the previous week no sector went up all the sectors went down and the red bars are showing that the sectors went down by significant percentages. That was the picture one week ago. What about this week? This is the same one month sector performance graph from this week. This week all the sectors went up and over one month period more sectors became bullish. Over one month now, 
10 sectors are up only one is down and this way all the sectors went up if you compare the performance of sectors this week versus previous week the red bars are showing this week's performance you can see it is almost like a mirror image all the down moves of the previous week were covered by the up moves of this week practically it appears price didn't go anywhere just move sideways from the previous week to this week at the sector level now it is time to make a call on the market outlook and my preferred trade direction the market outlook is bullish why because the backdrop candle color of all the four market ETFs is cyan and price went up this week though not much it went up little bit the sectors are also bullish all the sectors went up Friday's market also closed higher and the sectors went up on Friday that is showing the market is continuing to be bullish therefore my market outlook is bullish what about my preferred trade direction currently there is no immediate trade setup in any of the market ETFs and the comparison of sectors between previous week and this week shows that it is moving sideways the sideways move was also evident from the market ETFs daily charts based on that I am not able to decide my preferred trading direction right now I am keeping it as neutral unknown I will watch how the market moves next week and then decide on my preferred trading direction if you remember in the previous market roundup also i couldn't decide my preferred trading direction that is remaining the same this week and why is it remaining the same because the market didn't move for the whole week it continued to remain inside a narrow range that is all right Q traders are not in a hurry they always try to align the trades with the market if the market is moving sideways in narrow range they may stand aside or if they trade like I took some trades last week also they may try to exit the trades faster maybe using intraday trading techniques This is my Twitter page, twitter.com Sagannandi. I regularly share live stock and market analysis here. Let me review a number of snapshots from Q Finder that I shared that will further reinforce the conclusion that market is moving sideways. This was the snapshot from 15th May. Snapshot from QFinder, a program that helps you look at the market in a unique way, looking at the trend continuation signals and trend reversal signals. The bullish signals are shown in green color and the bearish signals are shown in red color. what can you see from 15th May chart you can see that it started to turn bullish the green bars were larger than the red bars the red bars were also not too small however the green bars were larger showing on 15th May Friday one week ago the market started to turn more bullish what happened after that on Monday the green bars were much bigger than the red bars whether it is breakout trade or go with flow 
trend following long trend or even pullback retracement trends there were many more bullish signals than bearish signals remember on monday the market etfs gapped up and when the market etfs gapped up q finder showed strong bullishness for the rest of the week the etfs did not move much and you will see the q finder graphs also mirrored the up down move from markets bullishness on monday let's go to the tuesday's graph 19th may after market close you can see on tuesday the red bars were much bigger than the green bars showing that the market turned bearish later i continued to share the q finder snapshots throughout the week this is the graph from wednesday tuesday was bearish our wednesday was bullish again the green bars were much bigger than the red bars what happened on thursday thursday it became bearish again overall the red bars were bigger than the green bars going by that up down up down move friday one might expect the market to be bullish however it was mixed some of the green bars were bigger than their red bars however some of the red bars were bigger than their green bar counterparts that showed a mixed picture on friday for most of the week the market moved in an up down fashion and the q finder mirrored the same picture this confirms the conclusion that it may be better to stand aside from the market let the market direction be clearer before taking many new swing trades this is my traders forum sagannandi.com i regularly share trading ideas under the category sagannandi trade ideas if you are following me on the forum you would know that i didn't share a lot of swing trading ideas last week that was because the market was moving sideways i did take some trades i shared a tweet during the weekend showing the S&P 500 ETF SPY daily chart that it is moving sideways for one month now. During this period, I could take some trades and my equity graph, this is from Charles Schwab, slightly went up. If you are trading with discipline, this is how your equity graph is expected to look. some downturns are probably inevitable at least i always have those downturns however they are not big downturns overall the equity graph is steadily going up and even during the one month period from april 24 to may 24 when the market was moving sideways i was able to use the q systems and techniques to protect my capital and in fact make a little bit of profit that is because the q systems allows us to take not only breakout trades not only trend following trades but also trades in a sideways market or even trades in an exhausting market we have very well defined checklist based trade setups for all of those market conditions other than the trade setups what helped me make some profit during this period is the fact that i booked profit faster faster than i usually do in my swing trades though i could make some profit even during this range bound market period this is not the easiest market to take directional trades and profit from that if you are 
taking directional trades, you may be extra cautious during this period. I will not look at more stocks this week. I don't know my preferred trade direction yet. During the week, starting from Monday, I will keep an eye on the market and if I find low risk buying or shorting opportunities, as usual, I will share them on my traders forum, sakandandi.com and also on my Twitter page, twitter.com, sakandandi. Thank you for attending this session. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.